All right, here we have yet another example of the pro-abortion lobby just exposing their true colors. Once again, they keep doing that, and here is yet another example of them pretty much exposing themselves. So it says here uh, on jihadwatch.org, it says, uh, well, abortion activists vandalize pro-life clinics, Senate Dems want Google to ban them. So these uh, pro-abortion terrorists are supported by, of course, the Democratic Party, because why the Democratic Party is just a bunch of, you know, immoral baby killers when you get down to it. They vote for the killing of babies, but reading the article it says the political and terrorist aims of the american left are in sync a few weeks after the buffalo mass shooting another domestic terrorist attack occurred in the upstate new york city uh, compass care a pregnancy care center uh, guiding new mothers away from abortion was firebombed by the pro-abortion hate group jane's revenge the group has been linked to the firebombing of at least two other pro-life offices and organizations last month it threatened its threatening graffiti included the warnings quote if abortions aren't safe then you aren't either we demand the disbanding of all pro-choice establish or all anti-choice establishments, fake clinics, and violent anti-choice groups within the next 30 days. Unquote. J the Jane's Revenge uh, communique threatened. Uh, we are quote we are forced to adopt the minimum military requirements for politic for the political struggle. Unquote. So they're threatening violence basically. Uh, since then, abo the abortion domestic terror group has claimed responsibility for more attacks, and Senate Dems appear to be working in tandem with it. A group of Democratic senators and, re and representatives called on Google to look into the search results and ads tied to, quote, anti-abortion, uh, fake clinics, unquote, amid a recent report that showed their prevalence in 13 states uh, with so-called trigger laws. What that would almost immediately ban or severely restrict abortion should Roe v. Wade be overturned by the Supreme Court. So, of course, the Democrats, you know, the, the, the immoral devil worshiping Democrats are just in lockstep with this kind of stuff. But continuing on, 13 senators and eight representatives signed a letter to Sundar Pachi, the CEO of Google of, the, of Google of a Google parent company, Alphabet Inc., dated Friday, in which they highlighted a report by the Center for Countering Digital Hate that showed at least that showed that in 13 states with trigger laws, searches for abortion pill and abortion clinic near me show clinics that did not provide those services 11% of the time. Uh, CCDH, as I've noted in the past, is a ridiculous organization. The Center for Countering Digital Hate is a British leftist group run by Imran Ahmed, a former advisor to the future to, to, to the to future Muslim sorry future London mayor. He's a Muslim too. Uh, Sadiq Khan, now operating out of Washington D.C., CCDH senior researcher Sophie Wilkinson used to write pieces for Vice. The Guardian and samples include, I pose as a man online for sex, a slut dropping, the dance floor move that, uh, that bringing women together, and I got my feces tested to see if it's super poo, unquote. These are the kind of people who are running this organization. <laughs> sure. And we're supposed to take them seriously. Uh, absolutely, the folks that, that the Senate Dems should be relying for their... So it says these are absolutely the kind of folks that the Senate Dems should be relying on for intel. Instead, they want Google to get rid of pro-life pregnancy centers from its search results. It is the same agenda and their domestic terrorist allies are following, except they're using big tech allies to, do, to basically do the destroying. That's what it comes down to. So they're in lockstep, which is not, which is not surprising from the Democratic Party because they're just a bunch of immoral baby killers. They vote for the killing of children. You know, so what's to be expected from the devil, the, from, I call it Satan's party, because, you know, and by the way, I'm not Republican either, and I'm not even American, but, you know, side issue. But if Satan had a party, it would be the Democratic Party, for sure. But anyway, just wanted to show you guys that, just more, just lunacy from the, the uh, left-wingers and social liberals in America. So don't be deceived by all this insanity. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.